story to tell. Used by the British Army since 1983, the Challenger 1 was the first British tank to be fitted with Chobham composite armor, paving the way for a new generation of modern British main battle tanks. A total of 420 Challengers were built, at a cost of around £2 million each. Challenger 1 served with Chieftain until being replaced by Challenger 2 in 2001. The history of the Challenger 1 was related to an Iranian order for an improved version of the Chieftain tank, the Chieftain Shia 2. The order was later cancelled due to Iranian revolution. However the project was taken over by the British Ministry of Defence, design was further reworked and the tank became known as the Challenger. Challenger has a weight of 62 tonnes, a length of 11.5 meters, a width of 3.51 meters, and a height of 2.95 meters. Its crew of four includes, commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Challenger carries all the characteristics of a modern main battle tank. The driver managed his position at the front center of the hull, while the remaining crew took positions in the turret. The gunner was seated at the front right of the turret, with the commander directly behind. The loader was to their right and managed the ammunition, and main gun breach via commands from the commander and gunner as needed. The most advanced aspect of the Challenger 1 design was its Chobham armor, which gave protection far superior to any monolithic rolled homogeneous armor, then standard of Western tank armor material. This armor was later adopted by other designs, including the American M1 Abrams. Additionally, the hydro-pneumatic suspension provided outstanding cross-country performance through the long suspension arm travel and controlled bump and rebound behavior offered. The main weapon is a fully stabilized British L11A5 120mm rifled gun. It is a significantly improved version of the Chieftain's gun. It is extremely accurate, however this MBT was fitted with slow fire control system. A total of 52 rounds are carried for the main gun. Secondary weapon are two 7.62mm machine guns. One of them is mounted coaxially with the main gun, while another is mounted on the turret roof. The Challenger 1 MBT is powered by a Rolls-Royce Condor CV12 TCA turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1,200 horsepower. There is also an auxiliary power unit, which powers all systems, when the main engine is turned off. Vehicle has a hydro-pneumatic suspension system, which provided good cross-country performance. It is worth mentioning that the Challenger 1 was famous for its mechanical reliability. Additional fuel tanks can be mounted at the rear of the hull for extended operational range. The Challenger 1 can be fitted with a front-mounted dozer blade or mine-clearing systems. The tank can reach a maximum speed of 56 km per hour, a range of 450 km. The Challenger was deployed to the Middle East following Operation Desert Storm in 1991. The Challenger gun claims the longest distance tank kill in history. During Gulf War it defeated an Iraqi tank at a range of 4 km. During the Operation Desert Storm the Challenger 1 tank engaged enemy target at a range of 5,100 meters. Challengers were also used by the British Army in Bosnia and Herzegovina and Operation Joint Guardian, the NATO-led drive into Kosovo. Currently, Challenger 1 used by the Royal Jordanian Army as its main battle tank, after heavy modifications. 
The variants for the Jordanian military were to be upgraded using the unmanned Falcon turret.